Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Uh, just a really quick update for Nick's New Year painting challenge for 2015. Um, this is Lady Sonia from Malifaux. I'm painting this one up for Trav, uh, Aussie Orc. Um, basically just laid down the base colours really, just and just getting a feel for um, where I'm going to put the highlights and I've done a little bit of, um, I guess you could call it pre-shading, just to work out the creases. Um, so the idea behind this miniature is I wanted to make um, the coat look like suede more than anything else because I've never really sort of done that suede sort of effect before so I thought oh what the hell it's a, it's a cool mini and she looks like a chick that would probably wear suede so um, the only the only limitation not a limitation but the only sort of suggestion or request I guess you'd say is Trav asked me to do the inside of the cloak red um, which is cool so I've just laid down the base reds um, I don't know if you can see the how the shading works up into the tip there uh, up on the collar you can sort of see that natural highlight that I was talking about in my last video about how I do the watery reds over white and I make it naturally highlight itself so you can see that pick up as I move the miniature if it focuses which it doesn't want to do there we go yeah so you can see that and I've just started to lay down the base work finally figured out that her face is actually a mask I couldn't work out in the detail um, why her face was sort of sculpted like that but it turns out she's actually wearing a, a, a metallic mask so um, I kind of like the that sort of that ghosty feel if you can see in the face there I've kind of made it sort of ethereal looking um, I kinda, I'm kind of digging that actually so whether I run with that um, or whether I actually do a metallic mask I haven't really decided yet I'm, I'm actually thinking about this is not focusing at all um, there we go, it's probably a bit better um, I was actually thinking about doing a red teardrop on one eye but anyway, we'll see uh, also her pants um, I painted them like jeans to be honest um, again, I, that, that suede look with the jeans and the brown boots um, I think that's. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty unique too. I've not seen anyone really try and paint jeans before, and suede. So I kind of wanted to give Trav a, a unique miniature, which is kind of, I don't know, becoming a trademark for me. I guess it's just painting weird things and trying out new techniques and sort of giving people things that other people don't have or don't think of. So um, the black bits, all all those black bits there, they're all going to be metallic, like metallic. Um, bronzy gold sort of a color um, same as the lantern i've just got to fix up some of those black bits in there it's i've done it that way to create a natural shade so when i actually do paint the gold over the top or the or the brass or silver however i decide to do it the extra black bits along those i know it looks a little bit untidy but the extra black bits will actually create a natural shade um, and then i'll end up doing osl up in through here so all of this will be all yellow and whatnot. Um, it'll make sense when it's finished. But that's the sort of ground groundwork I put in before I start um, before I start doing details. I kind of um, I don't know if it's cool. I don't know if I'd call it working backwards, but I have a clear mindset of what I'm going to do to the mini before I actually start painting it. So um, I know the step the final step i've already worked out in my mind so instead of doing all the highlights then shading back into it i'll shade it first and create the shadow and then paint the highlight over the top i think it just makes life a lot easier for yourself um definitely makes it easier for me so yeah that's um that's lady sonia and all those green flames there too guys that'll um where are we that that will be the same color as this guy so those flames on that sword will match um, all that green, yeah, they'll all match up. It'll make sense when they're done. Next is progress on the fascia. Um, so I've gone in and I've done. I did the bone originally in brown, and then I was looking at it and I thought, gee, that's boring. Uh, that's been done to death. So I actually punched it up to white. Um, started off with the with a blue a blue base, and then 
I picked out the white bits where I thought the most energy would be emanating from, and then I, I pulled out the blue OSL towards the edges, and then you can see inside his cape there, that'll be that'll be brought up another, another shade of blue, a lighter shade of blue, just to make a bit more sense towards the middle of that OSL. Um, just put his arm on, but again, it's just, just kind of a base coat, so just working out where I wanted to go with the shading and... Um, all that sort of jazz. Um, you can see there I've got just a little bit of a, a missed brush stroke, but nah, we'll get over that. So I've done the base, I've done my lava style base. Um, quite a few videos back now, I said that I was going to um, all of my new Orthway miniatures will have lava bases, so I've continued with that theme, and you can see I've done the um, I've done the OSL underneath as well. Picked up the OSL underneath his cape on the rocks, um, that part of his cape. So that's, if I can get this bloody thing to focus. I'm having camera issues today, guys. I'm, I do apologize for it. It just doesn't want to pick it up. I'd say it's the reds punching it out, the the way that the, the reds sort of emanate their own sort of a weird light have a bit of a bit of trouble with photography and shit at times so oh I swore sorry um yeah so there's my lava I think it looks pretty cool looks realistic that's a sort of that's how I do all my lava bases so yeah that's my farseer and that's pretty much as far as I've gotten to be fair um lots of real life stuff going on but anyway so be it and you can see I've actually <laughs> I've I don't know why but it turns out that I've kind of used the same colours on both of the miniatures, but see how I've used them completely differently? So, basically, both of these colours are very similar, um, but the way I've toned them and shaded them and built them up on layers, they um, they kind of, they look almost the same, but a little bit different, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, there we go. Please um, like, comment and subscribe. That always helps out. Always appreciated. Um, cheers, guys, and yeah, good luck with everyone's uh, everyone's New Year's challenge. And I hope you all keep the brushes swinging. All right, cheers, bye.